uh, it was a tough game. We were happy to come up with the win. We needed that as a revenge for um, how it went at their place. And, and I think we did a, a good job uh, on defense. We did, we did much better. Yeah, that, that was the game plan to be very aggressive and, and drive down the lane and, and um, get a few easy shots, which I didn't think were easy, but I think we got going pretty quickly in the game and I think they followed and that's what that's why the game was so close the whole time. Coach Bishop got our legs right with all those quads so I, I was feeling pretty good jumping today and then on that last block one of my fingers got caught in the rim so that's where I kind of tweaked my shoulder a little bit but I, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we, we talked about it and, and, and the feeling that's going on in the, in the locker room is that we have uh, six more chances to, to have a big impact in, in, in the conference and we have, we have to go hard and give all we get in the few in the last remaining games. Yeah, we are, we are a good rebounding team. We have quite some size and, and we've talked about it all season long because there's a few games that, that we were um, in a close situation at the end and, and we lost a few of them because of rebounding. We're getting out rebounded by a few teams and, and, and we know Wyoming got some size too, so it was definitely a, one of our focus tonight of blocking out and getting rebounds. I feel like tonight we came out, uh, had a lot of energy. I mean, it showed on the, I feel like on the rebounding total, we out rebounded them pretty well. I mean, that's always, I feel like a sign of our energy and um, that's gonna help us out. Uh, I mean, everyone gonna help us on the offensive end, defensive end, when you're kind of working hard um, and, it, and it showed tonight. I mean, Wyoming's a great offensive team. I mean, it's always hard to guard their sets or just their offense. I mean, it's a five out motion, it's kind of, random uh, ball screens, pick and pops. They're, they can really shoot the ball, but I feel like we, we did a good job tonight executing our defensive game plan, and, um, and, it, and that showed with us coming out with the win. Tonight, I, was, I got a couple easy baskets down low from our guards driving and just finding me. I mean, they did a great job um, penetrating, attacking, getting downhill on their screens. I mean, a couple times they were trapping the guards up top, so they one quick pass, another. So I feel like our guard play tonight was really well. I mean, it's really well every night, but able to just kind of get down and probe the defense and find the open man. I mean, <laughs> I wish I could say, I mean, one thing we definitely want to, I mean, everyone wants to come out and play hard for our fans. I mean, there's a big tradition at Utah State, especially here at home in the spectrum. Um, it's just something we, we need to take on the road. I mean, I don't know. There's no magical thing that we do in practice or anything. It just we've really come out ready to play um, these past three home games, and hopefully we can find a way or find out what's the reason to kind of bring it on the road because that's really what we need to do to win road games in this league. Yeah, I mean, Jalen, any great offensive player is going to go through slumps, but the really great ones are quick to forget and just move on to the next game. I mean, it's what I mean, he's a great player, so he, he just put it behind him and knew what his role was to come out, have a big game, and that's what he did. Hit a big shot there at the end to kind of seal it, and it's good to see him knocking down his shots. Okay, um, I thought it was a uh I thought it was a really entertaining college basketball game. I mean, uh, you know, lots of lots of scoring, lots of three-point shots, uh, up tempo. Uh, both teams, you know, trying to push the tempo, and and um, you know, at, at the end of the first half, I thought you know we're in for another shootout, and and um, we played about as good as we could play offensively in the first half with our ball movement and our spacing. Um, made a ton of shots, and we're up a point. And that's, uh, they're, they're a very hard team to guard, uh, very hard, especially when they go small. They can space you out. And they had a couple guys uh, play really well in the first half, make some shots they usually don't make. And so I was proud of our guys for hanging in there and even with a one-point lead in the first half because I thought Wyoming played really well, um, you know, as well. Alex and Quinn, uh, you know, stats, I, I told them before the game, if you, if you believe the stats, the league stats, it says we're going to out-rebound them by five or six. That's what that, you know, that's kind of where we are as, as two teams on the rebounding ledger. And 
Um, you know, doubt rebound those guys 15. I thought I thought those two guys were very, very active. You know, it set the tone right away. Even Norby and Alex to start the game got a couple of misses back for us and uh, and really set the game. And we we were uh, or set the tone. We were only sending two guys to the boards tonight. We were sending three back in transition. You know, to try to help our our transition defense a little bit. So, you know, I told those guys it's it's on you too. We only got two of you going, and I uh, thought they did a really good job setting the tone on the boards. At their place, yes. Uh, at, tonight, um, we we made a ball screen defense adjustment uh, in the second half that I think helped us a little bit, but um, no huge adjustments. And that was the thing going into the game. I told them we were trying to keep our plan as simple as possible. You know, we wanted we wanted their their feet fast. We wanted their minds clear. You know, we didn't want them thinking about a lot of things. And uh, we made one small adjustment at halftime. But other than that, you know, I, I think we were just more active. Um, and and they like I said, they they missed some shots. You know, that they made in the first half. And uh, a lot of times it comes down to that. You know, you just got to get fortunate a few times. And when you do make a mistake or when you're not exactly right where you need to be, you know, you need them to miss a little bit. And we got, we got, the, we got them to do that tonight.